Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Buhalovo. I think that's the way you should say the name of this map. A few changes I've made. Hope that it will not get the map author mad. First of all, we finished the contract on field 11. Plowing contract. Let's get the money. 16,356. And now we are planting canola on field 5. I just hired a worker, did some of the job myself, but we're gonna have to do something else for now. Obviously we're gonna come back later and fix what the worker missed right there for some reason. That's fine, it doesn't matter. And I went ahead and changed the names. We used Google Translate and this is what Google Translate uh, said that the names would mean, the one that were in, I think it's Russian, I hope I'm not upsetting anyone seeing that was Russian. So this will be CJSC Agro Complex Zagozino. This will be the sale of wood, obviously I should have named it better like sawmill or whatever this is the vehicle shop i think that was in english before this is the vegetable base i have no idea what the word it we used to be because obviously it was in english this is the uh, i'm pretty sure the animal dealer maybe can't see a trigger don't matter this will be obviously the sheep barn, that's the shop, and this are the animal pens used to be there before, in English as well, this will still be a shop, this will still be a shop, because I guess it is a shop. So we have a few shops, I think think I am going to go back and maybe rename this so they're not all gonna have the same name maybe shop south I don't know and this will be east maybe I can do that I I'm not really sure I'll have to check on that obviously and now Let's jump back into our combine. We're gonna start harvesting the wheat from field four. We are pretty close. Let's see if I can make it without crashing into these trees or the fence. We have our tractor with a plow here ready for action. So whenever we finish work maybe finish half of the field harvesting half of the field maybe we can hire a worker on that tractor and do some of the plowing for us all right but for now like i said we need to pretty much worry about the harvesting part let's take a look at the seasons menu we have wheat and today is actually the last day for harvesting wheat all right let's see they managed to not crash either into the that tree or our plow which is actually really good it's probably a first for me to not crash into anything and let me just go back and go closer to the edge here so we're not missing the crops let's see what happens if i bring the lines of gps nothing happens actually because i did i did save of course but it's not loading so let's just create a new one Let's see, okay, now we 
actually created a course let's fix the weight of the implement because it was wrong now it's 15.6 not sure if our header is just 15.2 uh, yeah, so I guess there's a difference between what GPS sees the header as being wider than our header actually is, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. We're going to fix everything if it's going to be an issue, but I really don't think it will. and we do have enough turning space right here we don't need to bother with going with the headland pass maybe we're gonna do that on the other side of the field or at the other end of the field because that's gonna be where we do have some trees so maybe we'll do that just so we don't run out of space in case we decide to hire a helper, a worker, to do some of the harvesting for us while we do something else. Maybe the trees will be in its way, so... I think it's best if we just do that. We'll go with a headland pass here on this side of the field. Soon as we finish this field, we need to move into field 9, which looks like it has a road here in splitting the field in two parts. I think that, let's see. Yeah, this is the entire field and it looks like there is a road there. Yep, so so now as we finish this field, like I said, we are going to do that. We're at 44% full and you know what? Yeah, we're not just going to bother with unloading. First, we're going to go either. Do we need a headland pass on this side? There is plenty of space, but... I think that's what we'll do. One headland pass that will get us close to us being full. So we're gonna do that. Let's start doing that right now. Okay. That will give us, like I said, more turning space. And then we'll have a worker on the combine while we bring the truck here. We do have like I said, that plow we have, and it's showing in front of us right now. We do have that John Deere with the auger wagon attached, so we can un use it to unload the combine. Yeah, we definitely had enough turning space here, but let's not worry about it. We do need to harvest all the wheat, so it doesn't matter if we are doing this or not not sure if we should come back or start yeah i think we're gonna come back so we continue from where we left off that way we start clearing the field so we can after use the plow on the field because well actually it looks like we don't need to plow this field so at least there is that since we don't have to worry about plowing, we can just unload when we reach this corner of the field. And then we are going to start harvesting from this side. So we don't have to drive back to where we started harvesting. We can just start harvesting from this side of the field, keep on going, and that's going to be are starting to really clearing up this field as it's almost 11 in the morning and we still have one big field to clear it's 
extend the pipe and until we finish extending the pipe I will make sure that I start modifying the GPS so you show yeah that seems to be better now let me find uh, no not you you know what let's just jump down and hurry up to the tractor if I can find it there it is I'll drive over at the combine, unload the combine, set the combine on a harvesting job and that's gonna be pretty much it for all the field work that we need to have on this field. And since we don't have to, okay, a bit of sliding right there. Yeah, I was saying since we don't need to plow this field, we can just spread some lime on and then that's gonna be it and there you go that was that's what giant asked 90 dollars for there you go Should be pretty empty and they just finished unloading. Now let's go back and we will not have the tractor with the ogre on the way. Jump back into the combine. Yeah, the pipe in, start the header and we're money. Let's get rid of these lines and you can just be inside Take a look at things. And I want to be honest, I should check the prices is on wheat. They all look not that great. Looks like the vegetable base. That's what Google translated a name from Russian. So not really sure if it's the right name. But it is now, so vegetable base will give us $429 for the wheat, followed by one of the shop for $414. So we're going to be selling at the vegetable base, I have no idea where that is, for $429. It's up here, up north just below the shop the vehicle shop and since we do have the truck right there as soon as we have the ogre wagon filled up uh, yeah we'll go we'll go in a straight line so we don't mess up with the gps again not long until we reach the end of the field yeah, so like I said, as soon as we have the ogre filled up, we're going to bring the truck in, we're going to unload, and if we have a full trailer, we're just going to start selling, right here at the vegetable base. Zagorzino, let's take a look, which is going to be the price 364 i usually sold crops over there but that's no longer the case at least for now all right and we just finished field four we finished harvesting and now we're gonna move everything all the equipment over at field nine finish that field we're not going to start planting anything yet because I'm thinking planting corn on field 4 and soybeans next on field 9. We finish planting canola on our field 5 and that's pretty much going to be it. 
not sure if L9 needs plowing so let's take a look whoops yeah it does that's great that means we are going to bring the plow over at field 9 as well but let me move all the equipment there first one thing that i did bought is the dalbo mega roller 2430 i bought that i need to bring it over at this field and try that out see how it behaves see how it's gonna do because so far i never used one i'm just curious what it's going to do and this is gonna be an issue we're trying to hook up that header trailer i don't think that the combine is going to be able to hook it up without knocking off the header yep so that means we're gonna bring a tractor here as well let's try something out real quick Field 9 and set destination. Let's see if the combine will find its way over at field 9. AI worker, it stopped work unexpectedly. Target is unreachable. How can the whole field be unreachable? Let's try again. Because obviously, let's try that. Obviously, giant helpers are great. Blocked by an object. There's absolutely no object in front of the combine. Maybe let's move the truck. Maybe this is going to be in a combine way. Looks like it was going around, but move the truck either way and i decided not to sell any of the wheat because there's this graph here that i have no idea what it means but i'm kind of hoping that we'll get a better price in january so we're gonna put everything in the silo one weird part is again i don't see any of the crops that we just placed earlier on in the silo but anyway i'm gonna move everything for the sell point in january and that's when we're gonna start start selling hopefully that's the case and i'm not just looking at some weird graph uh, the budget of vegetable base is already dropping the price so since it's not gonna be that long we're playing one day season January is just gonna be around the corner, so we're gonna hold on to all the weight until January and we're gonna start selling then because we are gonna be needing all the money, the extra money that we can get because we're playing on start from scratch mode and the Econ economic difficulty is on hard i did not change that yeah, i guess it changes with depending on, on which mode you start the game and like i said i started from play to start from scratch and the difficulty is at hard <laughs> there you go that's what giant helper will do not really sure what it tried to do maybe jump on here and commit something that it should not let's stop the worker and probably gonna have to turn off the traffic because my truck will and it's no longer on the way <laughs> it's no longer in anyone's way because it got moved i just i don't know uh let's stop the combine jump back into the truck try to weasel my way out of this mess that the combine did let's try that and we're gonna take the truck over at field nine then we're gonna bring the combine over hopefully 
with my driving I'm not gonna be as bad as the helper was looks like we are already at field 9 uh, let's try to find a good place for our truck to be and so it's not gonna be in anyone's way either the combine or the whatever other worker we decide to I think we if we go ahead and do what one headland pass we're gonna be okay now like I said let us bring the combine over and then we're gonna bring everything else let's make sure yep, there's no traffic right traffic right now let's bring the combine and let me bring all the equipment over at field 9 and i'll see you guys in a second okay and we are back and this is the roller that i showed you guys earlier that i bought i'm not really sure what it does and i'm pretty sure it does nothing let's take a look I have yeah so i can see the point on using one in real life obviously there's a lot of places that this is gonna be used in real life but i'm pretty sure if not 100 percent sure that in game it does absolutely nothing it doesn't even show that it does anything at all and take a look so nothing at all maybe i'm not doing it right i know you have to drive forward with this thing attached and it should do something and it looks like it does but i'm really sure it does nothing so that was a waste of a hundred thousand dollars i will be you know why not let's have a worker do this oh no field found okay so do i need to do this on a field that i already planted or what is this thing you can improve the upper soil layer quality of your fields. Do I need to take this on a field that I already planted? Funny enough, you cannot lift or lower the roller. You can just unfold it and it's already lowered. Maybe that's what it should be doing, but feels kind of weird because then you lose control on where you actually do something let's see if we can fit through this small tiny village right here it's not like it's a very big implement and let's take a look I have not checked and I will not check if this will actually improve the wield, the yield of, of the crops that you're using. And let's see, maybe this is what we're supposed to do. Hope I'm, hopefully I'm not destroying the crop we just planted. If you guys let will let me know if you know of course what this thing will do if it will in fact improve the yield on this game it looks like it's doing something it's definitely doing something but i have no idea what it's doing We still have canola planted and 
like I said, I'm pretty sure I just wasted a hundred thousand dollars on this crap. I mean, why not? Didn't really work for the money. I cheated in the money. Because remember from our previous episode, you do not start with. Okay. You do not start with any vehicles, so you kind of, if you want, then not just rely on the contracts that are crap. You can just give yourself some money, buy some equipment, and just have fun compared to not have any fun. Alright, and it looks like the worker is on. It's gonna probably do a crappy job as always, but it doesn't matter. Because we have more important things to do, and that will be obviously unload the combine, because it's completely full. And do all the field work that we need to do this field needs to be plowed and we have our plow with the john deere truck to ride there in that shed i went ahead and did a headland pass on this field all around the field even this tiny part right here that i'm pretty sure the worker will not find as part of the field because I mean here is the giant helper, the giant worker, but that's something that we're gonna do ourselves. No, no issue there. And we should probably just unload the ogre wagon as well, since we have the truck right there. And I should have, before bring the truck over here, I should have probably just unload some of the weed that got left into the ogre wagon from field four when we finished harvesting not sure with what horsepower that ogre wagon requires it feels like this tractor is kind of struggling with pulling it the ogre Yeah, and this in the truck are the crops that, like I said, got left in the ogre before we brought it here. We should have unloaded it completely, but I didn't because I just forgot. I brought the truck over and then got stuck with some of the crops in the ogre. So I brought the ogre with some of the wheat right here. Because it's not a big issue. This field is also planted with wheat. So, we are gonna not worry too much about it. It looks like the truck will be full, so we need to take it all the way to the silo, to the farm silo. So, let's do that right now. Why not? We are completely full, 75,600 liters of wheat and we should be having twice, three times this much in the silo already even though it's not showing us what we have. Taking a little shortcut right here. And Let's see, I'm trying to see, try to find the best way to go because we are using quite a long train right here. But once we are on this road, we should be okay. And we are, and we kind of was a pretty good shortcut now we're just gonna end up on the main road where the combine got stuck and not long now until we're gonna reach the silo this is the farm road that we need to take 
And like I said, we are going to be at the silo in no time. And hopefully, I'm not going to crash into anything while trying to do this. Okay, did I crash? No, it doesn't look like. So let's start unloading. It will take a while because we have to do this for four times. Two for the front trailer and two times for the second head trailer. Okay, and we are done with the roller and I'm just gonna sell it. I don't care if it does anything. In my opinion, it does absolutely nothing. So, $107,987. Bye bye. And we did took the truck with the trailers at the farm. That uh, field that we're harvesting at the moment, so it's there. We unloaded the combine already once. We used the truck to unload the combine because it was just there at the headland. Now let's bring this tractor back at the farm. We'll have it here whenever we need it. In case we need it for whatever equipment, we are gonna need to buy a fertilizer sprayer for our lime and also fertilizer I really haven't checked what will be the best or not the best am I blind or just not there is one there used to be crop protection there it is that's way too expensive even for us, we're short on the money. We could take a loan, but I'm not doing that just to buy a sprayer. This is 36 meters. This will be 48, and it's almost double in money. So that's not going to work either because it uses fertilizer and herbicide. And we're looking for something that we can spread our lime with. That's not going to work either. So I'm pretty sure we're going to buy this one, the Bradal K165. We're just not going to worry about that just about now. Because there's other things that we need to be doing. And one of that thing is... Obviously, unload that combine right there in the distance. But first, we are going to set a worker on the plow. We're going to start from here, but we are going to be heading over at just a bit on our right. So we can start pretty much and keep on going from the end of the field. On the side of the field and not just driving around like a maniac and leaving that piece of the field right there unplowed okay just a little bit better set the worker like I said on that and that's the Header trailer, and that's the John Deere we need. So let's get on over, and we're gonna have to move the combine from the from where it is right now because, as you guys can see, the pipe is in the crops, and I'm not gonna destroy crops just to unload the combine. So for now, let's stop the worker and just head on over at the auger. 
we're gonna drive the combine since the auger is just close by and load and go back into harvesting and we are gonna finish harvesting this entire field ourselves I think it's gonna be faster than the worker especially now that we have the GPS mod it's gonna be way way faster than the worker Alright, we're unloading, it's pretty quick. And anyway, this is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. That being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.